everyone, my name is Agla and today we are here to present you one of our newest programs which is Private Pilot License for a Helicopter. So, during this webinar we will introduce you to the course program as well as the opportunities that can follow if you do decide to pursue the Helicopter Pilot License. So, let's begin from the start. The Private Pilot License aims to provide our student pilots with the knowledge and the practical skills that are needed to safely and efficiently operate a helicopter for non-commercial flights under visual flight rules. A helicopter is a type of rotor craft in which lift and thrust are supplied by rotors. This allows the helicopter to take off and land vertically, to hover, to fly forward, backward and laterally. These attributes allow helicopters to be used in congested or isolated areas where fixed-wing aircraft and many forms of vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts cannot perform. Here are three main types of the helicopters you may operate after gaining private pilot license for a helicopter. Single main rotor. With a single main rotor helicopter, the creation of torque as an engine turns to the rotor creates a torque effect that causes the body of the helicopter to turn in the opposite direction of the rotor. To eliminate this effect, some sort of anti-torque control must be used with a sufficient margin of power available to allow the helicopter to maintain its heading and provide your control. Tail Rotor The tail rotor is a smaller rotor mounted so that it rotates vertically or near vertically at the end of the tail of a traditional single rotor helicopter. The tail rotor's position and distance from the center of gravity allows it to develop thrust in a direction opposite of the main rotor's rotation to counter the torque effect created by the main rotor. Tail rotors are simpler than the main rotors since they require only collective changes in pitch to vary thrust. The pitch of the tail rotor blades is adjustable by the pilot via the anti-torque pedals which also provide directional control by allowing the pilot to rotate the helicopter around its vertical axis, thereby changing the direction the craft is pointed at. Ducted fan. Ducted fans have between 8 and 18 blades arranged with irregular spacing so that the noise is distributed over different frequencies. The housing is integral with the aircraft's skin and allows the high rotational speed. Therefore, a ducted fan can have a smaller size than a conventional tail rotor. In order to start the course, there are some of the requirements that need to be fulfilled. The student must be at least 16 years of age and hold a valid European Aviation Safety Agency Class 1 or Class 2 medical certificate. The student also must have a good English knowledge. Moving on, let's talk about what the course itself consists of. Firstly, there is a theoretical part which is performed at our headquarters in Vilnius, Lithuania. It consists of 155 hours of ground training. It includes total of nine subjects such as aircraft general knowledge, meteorology, navigation, communication, principle of flights and other. After completing the theoretical part and successfully passing the exams at Civil Aviation Administration, the student is allowed to start his flight training. The flight training consists of 47 hours of flight under visual flight rules. It is usually performed at Kivishkis or Konas aerodrome on a helicopter. Once the student successfully finishes both theoretical and practical part of the training, he attains the private pilot license for a helicopter and can safely operate a helicopter on his own. Of course, if flying a helicopter is not only a hobby for you, but you could easily see it as your dream job, you can always continue with commercial pilot license for a helicopter. If you want to know the areas where your pilot license can become into a career, please listen up. Working as a helicopter pilot can take you into many different industries all over the world. Helicopter pilot opportunities include training, offshore support, firefighting, law enforcement, agriculture, pipeline and utility support, sightseeing, emergency medical services, search and rescue, test piloting and many more. It can be a rewarding and satisfying career path. All in all, there are a lot of opportunities if you do decide to pursue the commercial pilot career. Yet the private pilot license would bring you unforgettable experience and can even change your life. If you are curious and if you are looking for something new, please feel free to contact our BA Training Academy by clicking the link below or visit our website www.baatraining.com.